Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And boy, do I have something to enlighten you all on. So as a constitutionalist myself and someone since the day I left for Met, it's been all about the constitution. And for those who do not know the oath that we swear in, if you're enlisted, it's, it goes something like this. I, insert name, do solely swarm or affirm that I support and defend the constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear the true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will obey the orders of the president of the United States and the orders of officers appointed over me, according to regulations and the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. That is something I swore to. And just because I am out of the service, does that mean that I no longer, um, I have to abide by that oath. I never unswore it. So with that being said, when it comes to our politicians, I don't care what part of the line you are on. If you do anything that violates our constitution and put the interests of America's above your, um, below your interests, I'm sorry. If you put your interests above that of the American people, I will call you out. Now, um, you guys know I'm from Arizona and Carrie Lake has never been in politics. She's been a, um, news personality. Um, so as far as what bill she will ever will sign that have yet to be determined on whether or not I think she is a threat to our, um, democracy or just threat to the constitution, our constitutional Republic. However, since I am in the state of Missouri and and I'm not here to say that uh, because of this, um, you should definitely vote for the Democrat Trudy Bush Valentine. No, that bitch went along with everything that Biden signed off on. So according to, um, you know, if it was my way, anyone who like this administration have done, have put the interests of others before the American people. If the American people decide that they are guilty, they should be put along a fence and shot for treason. That's just my opinion. Call me extreme. But like I said, I am a constitutionalist. I don't care what side of the line you are on. If you do this, you should pay the price. Now we're going to turn to Eric Schmidt. Okay. Look, just because someone has an R or an I by their name, does that mean that they're for the American people? I know this was back in 2013 and I know his campaign managers did say that this will come to bite him in the ass. So, um, I'm not voting here in the state of Missouri, but if I was going to be voting here in the state of Missouri, I don't, I don't know whether or not I would vote for either one of these candidates because of, you know, this Eric Schmidt, the only thing that Trudy could really get on him was the fact that he did sign a proposition back in 2013, which did allow China to come and buy farmland. Now, I'm going to read this uh, um, report for you guys and then do I did some more research to find out who this company is. Um, they haven't rebranded, and this is just for your own sake when it comes to pork. Please be careful, but um, we can firmly say we don't know. And, and then when it comes to the FDA, do, does I tried to look on the FDA's um, site, and I'm going to have to just call now because there is information if you, um, depending on what um, type, what part of the farming sector you want to get in, you want to ask questions about, and there is one for meats, I would have to reach out to them because I cannot find any information like this on the internet on companies, foreign companies that then buy American companies are they now regulated under the FDA when it comes, even though they're a private company, they're foreign owned. Do, um, if in fact, when they sell to the public, are they scrutinized just as much as um, you know, American companies or, are, or is there pushback? Like we have seen when it comes to Chinese companies, um, not wanting to be regulated by the sec, even though they want to be on our freaking um, our, 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 uh, I guess our indexes like, no, sorry. So I'm definitely going to reach out to these, this company, to the FDA to see if indeed the company in which um, China has bought, if they are indeed being scrutinized at the same level as all of the other American owned um, 
um, um, food companies. So without further ado, let me go ahead and read some of this stuff. And so you guys can get in, into what I'm talking about. So Um, there's this fact check, this ad check campaign ad says that Eric Schmidt allowed foreign businesses to buy Missouri farmland in 2013, then state Senator Schmidt voted to permit foreign ownership of farmland. This is very true. So, um, in Missouri Democrat, oh, so in Missouri Democrat Senator Senate candidate, Trudy Bush Valentine is critical, um, criticizing the voting record of GOP rival Eric Schmidt on allowing foreign businesses to buy farm Missouri farmland. It's all laid out in a new commercial. Uh, here we go. Well, Michael McConaughey checked the facts on the claim. The Bush Valentine commercial said that if Schmidt likes China owning Missouri farmland, he should be a broker for them. Instead, as a politician, he voted twice to let farm um, to let companies controlled by China buy up farmland. Um, the com uh, the commercial says, "Yes, this is true. He did. Yes, Governor. Let me just keep reading. Mahoney report Ma Mahoney reported that is accurate in 2013. Then state senate." Senator um, Schmidt voted to permit foreign ownership of farmland to any nation and not just China. Governor Jay Nixon vetoed the measure, but Schmidt and others successfully overrode it. So how much Missouri land do Chinese businesses own? The commercial claims they own 1,000 Four hundred, sorry, one hundred forty-six thousand acres worth so far. That's from the Center of Strategic and International Studies, a national security think tank. Most of it by the WH Group, formerly Smith Food Field, Smith Field Foods. So, so um, when they had a when they had a uh, initially bought, um, sorry, crap. Let me. When they had initially bought this land, this company, it was only around 50,000 acres or 49,000 acres. And they are not allowed to have no more than, well, any foreign company is not allowed to have no more than 1% of um, farm ownership, basically, in, um, in America and when within each state. However, that has grown to 1.1. 1 .1. So they're not even, they're not even obeying the laws that they passed. These types of individuals, like I said, if it was up to me, these individuals would be tried for treason and literally shot. But, um, let's move on to WH group. So first I want you guys to look at Smith foods. I went onto their website and we're just going to peruse, right? And I, I want you to find something really funny, okay? I want you to find something here that just stands out, that just happens to, you know, doesn't, it just doesn't make sense when you're looking at it from an American perspective, okay? So for good, you know, good food, responsible, good is what we do, the Smith Built foods. We make more than good food. We make differences. We pro provide good jobs. We are good stewards of the environment. We do good in our communities. Good describes everything we do in Smith Fields and it's integral part of who we are. So <laughs> headquartered in Smithfield, Virginia, Smithfield Foods is an American food company dedicated to producing good food responsible has your family ever enjoyed food from eric and nathan um eric a uh, nathan's famous hot dog or a sandwich made from healthy ones that's us and that's just the start we have many popular local and regional brands too so animal care DEI, something that has uh, been tearing our nation apart, this um, diversity, inclusion, and equity all wrapped up in, uh, it's just a pretty little wrap, it's just a pretty little wrapper for, let's just say, um, corporatized racism. We'll just say that, okay? Um, the way that it has been used, yes, it is corporatized racism. Um... I just do find it hilarious that they say that they are an American, they are an American food company. No, they are not an American food company. Like going back to this, 
we, um, it says here that it was bought by the WH group. So I decided to go on the WH group limited and lo and behold, it is most definitely a Chinese entity. Now let's read what their corporate profile says. So their corporate profile says WH group, the group is the largest port company in the world with leading positions in China, the U S and key markets in Europe. Our global platform integrates consolidated pork business chains, including hot product, um, hog production, hog slaughtering and processing packaging meat, as well as distribution of packaged meat and fresh pork to form a leading competitive, um, com competitive advantage in the pork industry. WH group owns subsidiary companies and Henan, Shangho, Shangu, Shangu investment and development co LTD. Um, Asia's largest meat processing company and Smith Fields Foods Inc. Note the web address here. The biggest pork food company in the U.S. with our global renowned brand WH Group has a rich portfolio and products and a large market network. We also have unrivaled advantage over our peers thanks to a global integrated platform that realizes com um, complementary resources and significant synergies. In 2021, the WH Group recorded sales of U.S. $27.293 billion. Now, as, you know, as a... I guess, investigator reporter type individual, I had to, I wanted to go back and, um, see if how much money and what I mean by money, how much taxpayer dollars has farmers receive, you know, taxpaying dollars in the state of Missouri alone for farmers. Okay. We've paid for this time after time after time again, and yet our senators, you know, the people who are supposed to be representing Americans' interests decided to sell our land without even a proposition up for us to even vote on it. That should infuriate anybody, especially if you know anything about Mao and China's um, destructive path onto communism. They starved they starved millions of their people in, um, in the famine, and this was done on purpose. Okay. And now, not only have our senators, um, jeopardized not only our national security, but our food security, and no one sees this as a threat. Okay. We will also go into understanding why they have been receiving so many subsidies. If you guys haven't known, there is a tariff war. There has been a tariff trade war between America, um, soybean and, um, trying to basically, um, enter into other um, competitive markets throughout the world and in particular China. Yet we are hit with such high tariffs that it, it makes our exports, you know, kind of worthless. No one wants to pay so much for these crops overseas when they can just buy it in their own country for, you know, a fraction of a price. So we are overproducing. We're not even being able to make a profit because we can't sell. And this is the dangers. Like I I'm like, I, I am with Donald Trump on this 100%. And I have been saying this for a very long time. We are being played for fools. Our money that our taxpayer dollars, we make that money. Okay. We deserve our heart to keep our hard earned money. We should not be having to bail out, you know, industries that wouldn't even be in this position. If our government and our officials weren't in the pockets of these freaking lobbyists. But, you know, call me crazy to see that the individuals who love to come up with finding solutions for the problems that they create, tell me I'm crazy that they don't exist. And now when it comes to them messing with our food, we have no idea if the FDA actually, like I said, scrutinized the WH Group Smith Food subsidiary um, under the same, um, uh, um, measure, I, I guess, requirements as they would any other American um, um, food industry. We don't know that, okay? But anyways, let's go ahead and this is the Missouri farmland subsidiaries just from 1995 to 2020. So, you know, the, the South, the South, um, East region, what is that? 
756 million in total subsidiary uh, sub um, cities in Stodart County, Missouri, and Butler County, Missouri, 411 billion dollars in total subsidies. 624 billion in total subsidies in New Madrid County. You know, people want to know where our money is going. People want to, like, I, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and presume that I know how um, farming was done back in the day, but I'm pretty sure you had to go to the bank and get the money. You didn't go to the federal government to get subsidies in order to bail your ass out if you can't fucking make a profit. No. But yet... We're sending so much of our tax dollars to these farms and they're supposed to be providing us, providing us food. Well, you know, NAFTA kind of fucked us over with that. We, we take so much of our imports from other countries a lot. If you go to, if you go to the grocery store, I I honestly want you guys, the next time you go to the grocery store, see where your food is coming from. Barely any of it is coming from America. Most of it is coming from Abroad and in a time where gasoline or diesel is so expensive, ask yourself: Don't you think it would be a lot cheaper to farm or to um, gather their um, gather their crops and sell back to the public what's here in America instead of what's coming over the border? Not to mention the uprise in hepatitis A, I believe that's coming around because we don't a lot of these. A lot of these um, companies that are in these foreign countries that are bringing up food through, especially through South America, they don't go under heavy scrutiny when it comes to their facilities. Okay, they we don't know if the water that they're using is clean enough. We don't know if the dirt that they're using is clean enough. But yet we are seeing higher cases of hepatitis C. Um, sorry, hepatitis. I wonder if hepatitis C or hepatitis A. Um, that's on a rise because of food. And I believe this was a story that came out about strawberries. Hepatitis A, yes, hepatitis A. Like, you guys need to look into this yourself. People might call us conspiracy theories, but it's not like our government is really hiding this from us anymore. You you pick out, you find out information here, you find out information there, and then when you actually start doing your research, you find out that this government, big government, is responsible for a lot of the problems that we have, especially when it comes to our monetary supply and how it's dwindling, how they just wastefully spend and spend and spend. And now we're having foreigners tamper with our food. And I do do say so myself. I really 100% believe that they fucking tamper with our food. Um, because they are not held up at the same standards like most um, American um, um, food companies or farmers would be. And we are doing this all in the name of what? Globalism. Globalism kills, okay? Glo- they slap on globalism as if it's a, he- a helping hand to everyone. No, globalism kills. And if you don't think that globalism doesn't, Look into the tariff wars. Look into how countries throughout the world, whenever they, uh, you know, try to export things that they know is really good for their country, the only, the only export that they feel would, um, be able to, uh, I guess, um, like, uh, lift them out of poverty, um, by basically pouring in money by their exports. If you don't believe me, look into Haiti, look into Haiti and how globalization fucking killed that because the big the big countries they're not going to really help out the little guy no they're not they're going to help out themselves but they use globalism as a oh we're helping everybody we're sending jobs here we're sending jobs there it's okay americans can afford it yeah no we cannot afford it obviously Okay, obviously we can't afford it or else we wouldn't be fucking subsidizing these farmers at such an alarming rate. I mean, this is still been going on even now. I think under Trump, it was like I was reading here how with under Trump, damn, like 20, one farmer got like 20 billion dollars for and subsidies because he couldn't make a profit. 
And ask yourself, why couldn't this man make a profit? Why couldn't these farmers make a profit? I thought they were in the business of feeding Americans. Well, that's the problem, ain't it? We're getting our food from other people. And these farmers are pretty much fucked over. So I ask you, where do we export our food? Where, where, what are we doing? It, it's like they, it's, it's like they're dis, um, incentivized from wanting to even grow crops to sustain the population, because our government is literally undermining their own business by giving a helping hand to neighboring countries that don't even have our own health and safety in their interests. Why, why would they have our health in, um, in their best interest, our safety and our, our health safety in their best interest? No, people want to complain about the, the socialists out here complain about capitalism. That's exactly the reason why these guys are really going to care about the safety, our health safety when it comes to this, um, when it comes to farming food and giving it here to America. No, they're in it for profits. Think about it. That's capitalism right there. So the larger and quantities that they have, that's the more money they, they can make by shipping it up our way. And then we have to pay the diesel gas to fucking import it in when we could go right to our, you know, right, into, right to our neighboring states and get the food from there, harvest it from there. All we need to, is the manufacturing, and the processing right here. So ask yourself, people, please, do you really think this globalization and this, this, this view of socialism and how everyone's hating capitalism is the right approach to the driving the future of, um, and progress of our country forward. No, I really don't see, I don't see it. They want you to hate capitalism while they benefit from it. And this is the government telling you so, like I said, I don't, I, I don't, I don't care what side of the aisle you are on. If you are on the aisle that puts American interests last, you are not my friend. You are not my frenemy. You are indefinitely, you are indefinitely my enemy. I don't give a shit if you're red, independent, or blue. I don't give a shit. So Eric Smith, if you do become U.S. Senate, I will be looking at the things that you sign. I will be looking at the bills that you sign. How can you sit here and claim your MAGA, make America great again, when you're literally selling our land away, land that taxpayers have already bought? You're selling it to our fucking enemies, giving us national security and um, food insecurities, giving, a not, well, giving us... Being countries that are a threat to our national security and um, now uh, could be, in my opinion, uh, responsible for our future food insecurities. Some American you are, but mine will be on you.